day 537 in my hex journey i hope you're doing all great thanks to my latest subscriber thomas gibson welcome to the hood brother and now please make sure to hit that like button let's get this video up to 300 likes hit that subscriber button and turn on post notification to get notified for every new video and now let's get started with today's episode in today's video we have three main topics we're going to talk about of course we're going to have a quick look at the usual hex stats what's going on how is hex performing in this drop in this crypto dump everybody is panicking hex is just looking solid the second Second point will be a short view on Google Trends, what's going on in the world in terms of Google searches, and the last part will be some Pulse Chain news. I will try out a new format with you guys. I hope you like it. If so, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about. If you don't like it, leave a comment as well. And now let's jump right into it. First, we're going to have a quick look at our Hex wallet. We can see on day 535, we still have a steady supply of 571 billion Hex tokens, and we can see the daily T share price in USD came down a little bit after the last couple days we corrected a little bit we are up now 876 dollars for one t-share if you need a t-share to get some decent hex interests you have to pay 876 dollars if we have a quick look at the daily hex payout per t-share we can see nicely on the daily data that we had some nice days even above 6.2 6.05 hex per t-share that's on average around 40 percent apy which is just wonderful and if we proceed of course we have a look at the beautiful hex stats of hexinfo.io hex compared to the us dollar is up 826x compared to bitcoin we are still up 162x and compared to ethereum i think this is already the first indicator maybe this bull market is over because hex seems to catch up with ethereum now we are up 47x compared to ethereum that looks really really nice if we move on on graph hex.rocks you can see 9.67 percent of the total circulating supply of hex is staked this is one Wonderful. we are ready to sacrifice at any time now and the distribution between the uniswap pools you can see we have the uniswap version with ethereum we have 30 million in liquidity for the ethereum pair we have the biggest liquidity of 89 million hex tokens in the version 2 usdc pair and around 52 million hex tokens in the version 3 usdc pair if we look at the current apy of 38 percent you can really not complain staked at the moment it just felt below 3 billion US dollars. The total staked value plus the pools is also below 3 billion, but still a decent value for a young project like Hex. If we have a you look at the real time price for one Hex, you have to pay at the moment 0.047 of a dollar. And as already mentioned, it is a little bit lower than yesterday. For one t shirt, you have to pay $835 at the moment. The chart looks nice. We are consolidating. Some people are talking a lot of bullish stuff at the moment. We will have a quick look at the charts in a moment but first let's hover over to hex.vision we can see that we still have a steady distribution of new stakes coming in today we already have 220 stakes open it yesterday we closed with amazingly 400 stakes and the day before even more 435 stakes always interesting to see how many new addresses in the last 24 hours have now hex in their wallets we can see it's roughly 300 addresses so this is a steady and nice increase which i really like to observe if we move on to the penalties let's give a little refresh it's still a nice day look at this 2.3 million hex tokens paid out to the hex stakers in the last 24 hours thank you very much 0xa6 for 1.5 million hex tokens thank you very much 0xa55 for 913,000 hex tokens and the last two around 160,000 0xp5 and 0x9c thank you very much for pressing this red button too early thank you very much for your contribution if we move on to the gas fee situation we can see the gas fee situation just came down a little bit we have now some really low quays we are getting closer to Sunday and remember Sundays are the good days to make some stakes even better to end some stakes if you have some long stakes coming out like me sometimes with the fastest of 53 way at the moment and around 48 43 for an average transaction you should be good you can see this in the chart we still have some red dots in here but overall the last 30 days it starts to look greener maybe finally the Berlin hard fork will help something but still the as load function is still way too expensive and we can observe this as well what i just say sunday is the best day and as well friday is usually a good day to make some action in between you just pay too much so keep this in mind you have 14 days to end the stake before you will get cut in with a penalty of one percent per week
And now let's see what the market is doing. Let's check nomics.com. We can see the Bitcoin price $38,500. Pretty damn nice compared to the last all time high we had three years ago around $20,000. We are up 3.3%. Bitcoin is just dumping a little bit, correcting around 3% as well. Sits now at $2,393. If we look at Tether, Tether is whatever. If we scroll down a little bit, we will find now Hex at position eight. So still in top 10. Congratulations for that. We flipped Polkadot, USDC and this internet computer thing. So Hex has still a steady market cap of 27 billion US dollars and the price at the moment 0.047 of a dollar. So I guess the five cent level is just getting closer and closer again, even if we correct it 5.7%. If we have a look how much profit you would make if you hold some Hex for the last 24 hours, you would be down 5.7%. For the past seven days, you would be at the moment down 9% for the last 30 days. Come on, just a month, you're already up 172%. And for the past year, you would be up 1,131%. Pretty damn amazing. Let's proceed now to the chart. We can see on the historical chart, nothing much happened. We just consolidate up here. So at the moment, we are sitting around this 5 cent level. If we would have a major correction, we would put it on the chart. But for, so, for now, we just let it run. Let's proceed now to the dot vision chart where the main liquidity sits on the uniswap version 2 chart and i don't know some people are really drawing now some bullish flags i have no idea we will see how this thing will turn out and maybe maybe we will have again a huge explosion to the upside so let's come now to the second topic of today this is just a quick google search let me zoom in a little bit that you can see it better if you search for hex hex is also a term in the computer coding language so better search for hex crypto maybe this is just a little bit better we have here the chart of the last 12 months and you can see we have a massive spike up since the end of april beginning of may this could be related to the sacrifice phase people were googling like crazy didn't find anything you have to join the pulse chain telegram just to participate in the evolution of pulse chain there are so many things which are not final yet and if you have some good ideas please let us know please give your inputs and maybe you will be also part of this code so if you have a quick look you can see it spiked up really well down here we can see the major search results are coming from australia congratulations to that and as well we have markable thoughts which is using google pretty nicely canada united kingdom and ireland is pretty damn strong and of course we have the whole united states over here which are participating heavily with hex so if you want to get into hex do it better now visit hex.com or pulsechain.com for any more news and if we talk about PulseChain.com, let's switch to the third topic now. You can see we have a slight update on the website. It's not just much, it's a logo and we have some ideas down here. These are just ideas for you guys to talk about. Have no expectation of work of others. Get your ideas out there. So this is what I just said. If you have great ideas, great things to talk about, put them in the PulseChain Telegram. You will be part of it and maybe it will be used. For today, I will not go over all these points. If you check Telegram regularly, you see those informations out there already. And I will put it on the third point of this video for today on the new format. But we today are going to talk about some other stuff. So let's switch quickly the screen. And we're going to do this camera a little bit smaller. So I'm not disturbing too much. I try a new format out. It is a drawing board. We will put all the informations we find out there. We will find informations in Telegram, on Twitter and wherever else we put it on this drawing board we discuss together and it will be a work in progress this is really really important so maybe some stuff is not totally correct maybe some stuff is not final yet actually a lot of stuff is not final yet so we will talk about this pulse chain fork and if you zoom in a little bit or zoom out we will see some news topics so far i will cover some topics like the technology the news sacrifice phase strategy and of course we're going to add more topics here we're going to do some explanations we're going to do some handwriting on there so we have a little documentation we have a little log file where we can see and also correct stuff if we got it wrong in the beginning but there we just should have some notes just to be informed what's going on with the pulse chain and if we zoom in now a little bit into the news i made a little summary for the last news which we had so the launch phase is in days not in weeks this we know already we also have now a private test net up and running which is mining three second blocks at the moment 
The last information from Richard Hart is now the test validators. So the validators who are actually processing your transactions and earning fees, they are up as well. And with a full system state injected, that means we have already the full system copy of the Ethereum blockchain for testing purposes on those test validators. And I'm really glad to see that things are running smoothly. Even Richard Hart mentioned in the last live stream that he's positive surprised about the progress which the programmers are doing. We will also see a fiat on ramp. This is really, really interesting. We will see as well a multi-chain sacrifice phase. We talked about the sacrifice a little bit in some videos already. You will be able to sacrifice some different coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, ERC20 tokens, which are hanging on the Ethereum network like HEX or USDC, but also other networks like ADA or XRP or LINK or whatever you want. We will see a final list probably soon and this will be pretty interesting for different coin holders to sacrifice and to participate in the upcoming pulse chain fork you will see also a sacrifice donation option that means your sacrificed coins will go to a donation organization for example we have the sense foundation what is really important to know as well we have the sacrifice phase before the mainnet so before the mainnet will launch we will be able to sacrifice i personally hope we don't have to wait too long after the sacrifice phase ended until the main net will launch. We have already the small website update, which I covered just a minute ago. And Richard Hart mentioned as well some open tasks we have for the moment. We have some sacrifice address generator code, which has to be written that you will be able to receive a sacrifice address. You will be able to verify these addresses on multiple different sources. And another open task is the DAO part and the liquidity mining. The liquidity mining is a huge part. And I guess it's also about the NFTs. So we could actually just add this NFTs stuff right in here. I think we will see some information maybe to the next video. But for this, this is already the end of this video for today. I hope you found some value and please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. This would be really appreciated. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Stay long and fat, stay safe out there and see you in the next one. Peace.